Oh, wait, before we do that. It's that time, isn't it? It's that time. <laughs> We've missed it for the last two months. Now. Hunter Kogel is a professional historic garb maker located in West Virginia. He has been reenacting since he was 10. He's also been wearing kilts since he was 10. They're initially not related. He basically did Civil War. Um, a lot of the images you're going to see right now are actually him and his spouse and also uh, members of uh, his units and things. He, is, he and his wife have been making uh, historical garb for uh, the market since about, I think it's a 2007. Yeah, so quite some time. And that's a far cry from what he thought he was going to be doing for a living, which he was, he used to be, he was a ranch hand and cowboy at one point, a construction worker, a pilot car driver. There you go, Mac. Uh, he has a degree in history and he's working on his doctorate. But he and his wife actually met at a Highland Games, um, fell in love over the course of doing reenacting, initially U.S. Civil War, and it uh, kind of evolved into doing this for a living. His work is impeccable, if I may say so. Um, he said that basically it's not the making of the stuff that he loves the most, it's actually the research that goes into it first. It's looking at the extent garments and the records and, and the information we have and piecing it together and trying to get into the heads of those people and figure out what their methodology was for how they made the stuff. Um, they had wanted to do Jacobite reenactment for a long time, but had a hard time finding um, uh, quality resources stateside for, for it. And so that was kind of kicked off him doing uh, Jacobite uh, 1745 kit as one of the main things he does. So he's uh, actively out there. You can commission something from him, but there's probably a wait, because I suspect he's pretty popular. Um, and I was going to say, uh, his advice for anybody who's getting into this is, from the for anybody who's interested in doing living history out there, above all else, do your research before you buy. Buy right first, and you'll not have to buy again later. Books are worth their weight in gold. Reenacting is about representing what we know, not what we suppose is possible, which I really liked. Uh, representing what we can prove is done rather than simply guessing or imagining. Supporting what you know with actual evidence rather than the sort of images that have been drilled into us by the media. So basically, you know, measure twice, cut once with your research if you're getting into that. So Hunter, Hunter really impressed me. I would like to feature more people in the living history scene, of course, as we go forward. But uh, here's to you, Hunter. Yes. Good luck with the business. Slanja. Slanja. Mr. Mack. Bring yourself in there. The uh, I'm in here now. For those who don't know, Mr. Mac has what's the name? Bloody Corner. Bloody Corner. Yep. Blighty Corner. Yes, Mr. Mac is also a, a reenactor of several different things, mm -hmm. um, and has his own uh, side company, mm -hmm. so to speak, yep. doing that kind of stuff. And it, a lot of that, what he said, I'm like, oh, I sounds, like, Mac. sounds like Mac. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> sounds like sounds like Mac. Yeah. Different different era of specialization. Am I right? I mean, yeah, mostly. Yeah. yeah, he's doing a lot of lot earlier time period than, than even that I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I know that he's, and you said about him being busy. I can imagine him being extremely busy right now. It seems like the Jacobite rising stuff has taken off and it has become a really popular. I know a lot of guys that have switched over from doing other time periods to that time period now. So, really? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. They just did an event at uh Fort Loudon. They just did an event out there that was apparently really good. So interesting. Cause I thought world war one was the, the hot ticket right now. Or is that dying down? <sighs> It goes kind of goes it's in past spurts. Hundred year gotcha. anniversary. Yeah, right, it, well, right, yeah, right. for the anniversary, it was big. Now it's yeah. kind of tapering down a little bit, and then we'll see. Uh -huh. Hopefully, we'll see a uptick in Rev War here over the next uh, couple of years. Now that we're getting close to another anniversary there, so yep. another anniversary, indeed. Yeah. We got sesquicentennial thing or something. Sesquicentennial. Sesquicentennial. Yeah. Yeah. Right. There will be no spelling uh, <laughs> competition nope. after that. Spelling, <laughs> spelling is a modern convention, Matt. <laughs> Standardized spelling is hey, modern. I was just told to spell or write it how you how it sounds. So, it, okay. <laughs> nope. Why? Do you, look at my emails. <laughs> um, I will not throw, I'm going to throw Mac under the bus a tiny bit and say that he has occasionally, for customers of this company, made historically accurate kilts. So, once in a while, we're able to undertake a project like that. Talk to us if you are looking for something like that. And absolutely check out Blighty Corner. Is it better to find you on Facebook? Probably. But right now, yeah. yeah. And, and there's an Etsy store, but there's not a whole lot up there right now. Right. And what is and Hunter's? Hunter's? I don't 
I Does he have a company name? He doesn't have a company name. I think basically okay. the best way to contact him is through Facebook. Okay. Um, and Hunter, a Facebook group. Let me know. I will get. I'll get, I'll get more information. Yeah, yeah. No, I'll get more information <laughs> and post that in descriptions later. There you go. Hey guys, thank you for joining us for that. Hopefully you found it inspiring. What inspired you to get into kilting in the first place? Tell us in the comments. If you know somebody who you think is a real kilt ambassador, somebody who just brings that light of kilt awareness and joy to the everyday world, write to sales at usakilts.com and let us know who it is. We're always looking for examples of why kilted people are just awesome people.